Okay, so today I'm going to go over the parent conference form, progress report, and first semester end dates. And again, these are the districts um, that we will be reviewing these for. Um, so the parent conference form, um, this is sent out mid-semester, um, about nine weeks in. You should have received the these uh, the middle of November. So some of you are still getting them in the mail. Some of you received them last week. Um, if you do have any questions on them after I go over the form with you, um, please make sure to put your question in the chat box or make sure to contact your teacher if you or your parent do have questions about the parent conference form. Um, just a reminder, one semester is 18 weeks. Um, and again, at this point in the semester, each student should have completed at least three courses by now. Again, we want you to finish six classes in the first semester and six classes in the second semester. But we do break that down um, where we give you three classes to start. You have nine weeks to work on them. That's the first part of the semester. The second nine weeks of the semester, then you finish the next set of three classes. Um, all students under 18 should have received the parent conference form. Um, if you are over 18, you did not receive the parent conference form, but you did receive the progress report or should have received the progress report. Um, and then right now, I will just briefly review the conference form. Hopefully, I can answer any questions um, that you have. Um, give me one moment. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Need to find my other form. Let's see here. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so here is the parent conference form. Um, it should just have the date, the student's name, the student's grade level, the student's district. Their teacher should be listed on the right-hand side over here, and then the parent's name should also be listed on this form. Um, your teacher should have filled in a student strength. Um, so anything that the teacher did put in this box, the teacher thinks that you excel at this um, type of skill that you may have. For example, the student, um, it says your teacher is really your student is really good at making contact with his mentor and teacher every week. So that is extremely important. If your teacher thinks that you are doing that, that is great because that is required by the state of Michigan in order to stay in our program. Also, this teacher put, your student is really good with time management. So um, the teacher may have felt that the student is pretty much on pace with everything or they're really good at um, finishing if they say they're going to finish three assignments each day, that is what they are doing. Um, so anything that your teacher did put in this box, you should be really proud of um, and, and be happy about that. Um, the student concerns, um, so for the student, um, the teacher had put, your student should have three classes completed at this time. He has only completed two classes so far. So like I said before, um, nine weeks into the semester, each student should have three classes completed. So then they can finish the next set of three classes by the end of the first semester. And then the teacher also wrote, make sure he begins to put in more time each day. On average, he should be working four to five hours a day. So this student is just a little bit behind. Um, if we look down here at the courses, we can see this student has already finished English 11A with a 76% overall, Consumers Math with a 91% overall. These have both been completed. Looks like the student is still working on music appreciation. Um, he's at an 83%, so the work he's doing is great. The date completed was supposed to be um, November 12th, but say the student has already finished at this point, um, you know, that's why the teacher may have put, he's still good with time management, even though he's just a little bit off pace with completing this last um, class that he has. So then the teacher also put that he was behind in the course. Um, English 11B was also assigned, but as you can see, um, it does have the end date of 125, and he has not started it at this point because I'm sure he was still finishing up his music appreciation. 
Same with Earth-Space Science. He should try and finish this class by the end of the semester, along with Geometry A, and this one has not even been assigned yet. Again, we want you to finish six classes in the first semester, but we only assign three at a time. Um, and then just comments. Um, this can vary. Um, for this student, it just says, your student is expected to have six courses completed by the end of the first semester, which is January 25th, 2019. And um, it just has the teacher's name, the phone number, and extension. So um, any questions about your parent progress report, um, make sure to type it in the chat box or give your teacher a call to um, ask them about anything that you may be wondering about. Um, so with the mail and getting everything processed, the student and parent may have received this form about a week after. So um, if they see that maybe music appreciation is already completed, um, except it wasn't you know, when the teacher had written up the uh, parent conference form, just make sure you can um, call your teacher, ask them about that, just confirm that it has been completed, or if you already know it's completed, it's all said and done with, then you know, just go on. It does take about a week week and a half to um, get everything mailed out to the student. So it could be just a little bit um, out of date by the time the parent receives it. Um, let's see here. So hopefully I did answer any questions about that. Um, so next um, the progress report. So um, students should receive this. Again, um, this was sent out mid-semester, so about nine weeks in. This, uh, the course progress report does go out to all students, students under 18 and over 18. Um, and again, this just shows your progress, where you're at with everything for the classes that you have been assigned currently. So it doesn't show anything in the past and it doesn't show anything that has not yet been assigned. So let's take a quick look at this. Sorry. <laughs> and here is the course progress report. This is what it should look like. So this student has one, two, three, four classes assigned. Um, the student is quite behind. As you can see right here, the student has only started on the biology class. So um, it doesn't look like any of, this is just a test student, so um, the student start and end dates have not been set, but you can find those that information um, for yourself right here in this right corner of each class that's listed. You can see how many um, assignments you have completed, how many you still have left to go. This pacing status should look just as it does in Edmentum with the little man um, either green and running forward if you are ahead. Um, I believe he's orange if you're just slightly off pace, he's facing forward. And then he's like a reddish pink and he's running towards the left side of the screen if you are behind. Um, you can also see here how much time you have actually spent working on the class, um, your current grade, so that is for the assignments you have completed so far, and then the course grade, it will show you and will be a lot lower than the, the current grade because the course grade shows um, your grade with all of the assignments not completed, and so it automatically puts in a zero for that. So if you are on pace, and where you should be at the class, then you should be looking at your current grade. If not, you should be really concerned about the course grade because if the semester ended tomorrow and say you were only at a 43%, you would not pass that class. You have to have at least a 60% in order to pass the class. Um, so that is the course progress report. And if you do have any questions on that, then please make sure to type it in the chat box or um, you know, make sure to contact your teacher after um, this lesson. And then just a reminder, our first semester end dates are listed here. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, but I listed them in order um, of districts on how they finish date-wise. So Vandercook Lake 
does end on December 19th. So that's just in a few short weeks here. So students in Vandercook Lake should be making sure that they have completed or will be completing their six classes by that date. Otherwise, they do um, receive zeros or, um, you know, if they haven't started the class, they would receive a zero. If say they've only completed five assignments and with the zeros in, it shows them at a 10%. They would get the 10 percent and then you do not receive um, they have credit for that class um, burr oak is december 21st again should have six classes completed lake city should have six classes completed by january 17th buchanan should have um, six classes five to six classes completed by january 25th and harper woods by february um, first. So um, if you're wondering why some of the end dates are off, some of these districts started a lot sooner than the Labor Day weekend. So that is why um, there are different end dates um, and some end a little bit earlier in June or some even end in May. So um, just keep that in mind. But again, if you um, haven't completed, you know, at least three to four classes by now since we still have a couple weeks left. Really make sure to make an effort in your classes, make an effort to speak with your teacher, find out if um, him or her can help you set up a schedule just so you can get yourself back on pace and earn you know, the six classes that you need um, to finish by the end of the first semester. And then six classes should be completed by the end of the second semester. Um, so any questions, uh, please type them in the chat box. I will give you guys just a minute or two. And if anything comes up, I can answer those. If not, then that will be the end of the uh, session for today. And also, if you're thinking of any questions right now, feel free to um, type something in the chat box. If you don't have anything to um, ask a question about, you can tell me what you are thankful for. And we did this um, at our Thanksgiving. We said you could not say, because we all agree that um, we are thankful for our family and our friends and everything that we have. So we had to say something that we were thankful for that's kind of like an odds or ends, something that you don't really need to have. You can kind of live without, with, live without, um, but you really enjoy having it and it makes you happy. So um, I had said I was thankful for my Kindle. I love to read and um, I can read at night in bed. It has a light. Uh, backlight so I can just read the book. I can read it out in the sun <laughs> um, if my kids are playing outside and um, it doesn't have a glare or anything like that. I love to read. I can take the Kindle anywhere with me and I can store so many books on it so I don't have to worry about lugging around my book or <laughs> forgetting it or losing a page, something like that. But I was just thankful for my Kindle. So it was fun to see what everyone said. Um, my son had said he was thankful for his soccer ball because he loves to play soccer. So I thought that was just something different. So feel free to type something in the chat box about something you're grateful for or any questions. All right, it does not look like we have any questions. Um, so I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And um, any further questions, please let myself or your teacher know. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.